more than five minutes and let's get this show going. So we want to do some kind of uh, mask upgrade. So let's do that. Let's take my node graph here, for example. We can do this in channels as well, but I just want to do a quick mask here. 16 bit, let's take this black and white. And so let's say I'm painting something onto the model. Uh, with a soft mask. So this is something I use a lot to add additional interest to a mask or something. So let's see, let's see, I make something like that. And then I want to add additional interest to this. Um, so we can, let's take a texture set here. Let's take a node. So this one, uh, for example, if I add to image manager, it's an interesting uh, breakup map on, on this one. So I uh, will probably take the this one, the tiled here. So we can see if I tile it onto the object, it looks like this. Let's actually set it as a tree planner. So shift drag it. it should tile now as a tree planner projection. So we have to set the scale on this one so maybe 100 and let's crank the um, fall off a bit here crank it a bit here so it becomes a little more solid so we see here we have um, some interest here so I'm, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna merge this so if i go here and tab full screen on this one so i want to merge this and i want to have a brightness lookup or some kind of contrast node so this you, you can have different type of contrast nodes so in my case here now if i look uh, at this one with the brightness lookup here we have um, or actually let's insert a luminosity node there as well well now we have a mess here so i have to or to place this there we go so there's my mask and here's my breakup chain and so now we have a black and white version when we look at this and we want to level this now so let's take this the yeah this node i want to start to mess with so we want to make something that's very contrasty between black and white because now if i look at this one it's uh it's it's merged there but if i double click on this one and set this to overlay so contrast i want a overlay node there here we can see now if i start to paint on this one and uh, let's tweak this we're automatically gonna get a nice border edge that's uh, kind of you get it for free there kind of something this one the fussy for example here and just see when I paint with something soft it just adds a lot of detail and stuff so this is something when you're working on organic stuff or dirt or anything so just add uh, some kind of a break up with a overlay and then we get uh, so in this case I have disabled the color space enabled as well uh, then we get even more funky effects like this and the effect of this is gonna come from how we level this Yeah, so that's my uh, quick tips for making upgradable masks and stuff like this. So that's five minutes in Mori and uh, yeah, cool. See you in the next one. Bye bye.